What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Frog season is currently underway here in central Arkansas and we finally have some good weather to get out here on the lake and try to find some frogs. Now if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we like to go after them with our hands, with nets, with whatever we can do, but we especially like to go after them with crappie jig rods, with little crappie jigs attached to them. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a canoe out, we're gonna spotlight around, and when we find a frog, we're gonna try to get as close as we can to it without spooking it, and we're gonna pitch the crappie jig out there in front of his face, and bullfrogs are voracious predators. They will literally eat anything that hops in front of their face, including like baby turtles. We found baby turtles inside bullfrogs' stomachs, as well as like baby snakes, crawfish. So you put this little jig in front of their face, they will definitely go after it. I'd say nine times out of 10, at least until they become a little bit skittish later on in the season. We've already heard some bullfrogs croaking in the distance, so only thing left for us to do is to get in the canoe and start looking around and try to find some big ones. We hope you guys are excited to join along with us on this frog jigging mission. If y'all are, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and let's have a night of catching some big bullfrogs. Woo! Let's go. Here we go. Jay is dialed in. We've got a bullfrog right here on the rocks. Zoom in on him so you can see him. Okay, let's see if he'll eat that jig. Come on, buddy, eat that jig. Eat the jig. Get a little bit higher so you can see it. Oh, oh he, he bit at it, he bit at it. He didn't get it. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat, get in the boat. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. And just like that, guys, we are on the board. Way to go, Jay. Got the first one in the boat. I didn't know if I was gonna get this one or not. He was being tough. It took a lot of finesse, and he bit like when we were least expecting it, too. Wow, that is a big end. Look at the legs on that thing. Hold his Ooh. legs up. Holy smokes, Jay, that's a big frog. Oh yeah. Huge frog. <laughs> now that is how we get the night started, Jay. Big yes. old fat bullfrog. And the best thing about this is there are four right in front of the canoe. Woo! I'm about to fill this cooler up quick. Yeah, we gotta put this guy <laughs> in the cooler and let's get up there and see if we can catch another bullfrog. Big guy. Okay, we're up here on our next frog. He looks like he is in the feeding position. <laughs> He's probably gonna eat it right off the bat. Come on, Froggy, do it. Do it, do it. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, big guy, come on, big guy, come on, big guy, eat that jig. Eat the jig, eat the jig. What's he gonna do? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's big. Oh yeah, he's big. Oh, he's Incoming. in the boat. He's in the boat. Incoming. Woohoo! Got him. <laughs> awesome job, <Whoa>. Jay. <laughs> he's heavy. Yes. He was very heavy. Man, look how the frog got that jig right in the top lip. <laughs> he smoked it. That was so cool. That one did not take as long as the first one. Uh-uh. When they're in the grass like that, they are in full like feeding mode. Yeah. They, are, they are looking for stuff to eat, except yeah. whenever they're they're breeding, but they're not really looking to breed right now. They're just yeah. out here just getting ready, eating a bunch of crawfish, minnows, baby turtles, and of course, crappie jigs. <laughs> Anything that's put in front of their face, they're eating it. It's great to have the slab queen on your side whenever you're trying to catch these bullfrogs. She just, oh. she works wonders with that little crappie jig. Yeah, out here I'm not the slab queen. I'm actually called Jiggy J. <laughs> so don't mess with Jiggy J. Jiggy J the bullfrog master. She'll get you every time. Yep, top lip, <laughs> pinned. Still can't get that guy off. Can't get the hook good. out, oh my gosh. Okay, we have another frog spotted. I'm gonna catch this one for sure. For sure. Does he have it? I don't know. Oh! Oh, does he have it? Oh, he hit me with him! She hit me with him! <laughs> Look at there. She said without a doubt. And yeah. she was right. You're like three for four tonight. Heck yeah. How about that? That is a great percentage. We got a good hook on there. We're using this little tiny hair jig. It's got a sharp sickle hook on there. 
That's a good one. Look at those legs on that guy. I know. Like, he ate it, but I was like, oh, I'm not really sure if it's in his mouth or not. Yeah, he was but, facing the opposite direction. Yeah, so I couldn't see, but... Heck yeah, you're on a roll, Jay. Woohoo! Okay, so we're doing really good so far. This is frog number three, and we've only been out here for just a few minutes, so we're doing good. Yep. I'm getting really excited, and I don't know how many we're going to catch tonight. Yeah, and in case y'all are wondering, the limit here in Arkansas is 18 bullfrogs per person. We're definitely not trying to catch 36 bullfrogs tonight. Oh, no. Um, but like eight or nine or ten or so would be perfect. Yeah. Let's get him. We got to be careful. We got to do this fast. All right. Three, two, ah! oh. Ah! That was, was almost, almost bad. Tragedy. We almost lost him. <laughs> Good hands. <laughs> Okay, we have a frog on a log, and Colt is going to take a hit at it. I don't think there's any chance this one's going to eat. This one's going to be really tough. Oh. Yeah. Dang it. All right, Cole is going to have a go at catching this frog right here. I am so close to it. Oh, my gosh. Come on, buddy. I think he's going to do it. This frog is in the feeding position. He's hungry. He's yeah, in the he's boat. in the boat. Oh, he's in the boat. Hang on, I gotta zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, guys. There is my first frog of the night. My first frog of the 2021 frog catching season. And uh, as you guys saw, he was in the prime feeding position. After you know many years of us doing this, we know just exactly when these frogs are probably gonna eat the jig. Not all the time, but like we said, about 90% of the time they're gonna eat when in that feeding position. And you can see right that top lip. I think it's called a shiny honey jig. A little arky shiny honey jig with a little sickle hook. Big old beefy frog leg. I think this is our fourth one, right? Yeah. Fourth one, and we have a couple more behind us, so I'm gonna get to go at those real quick, and then we're gonna swap back off. We're just gonna go back and forth on a few frogs each, and we'll just see how many we get by the end of the night. Heck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> he does it. Okay, we found our next frog, and it's a big one. Real big one. Real big one. Oh my Frogzilla. goodness. Frogzilla. Frogzilla. Oh, look at Frogzilla. Oh, he's right here. Come on, buddy. He got scared. I don't know if he's going to eat it. He went for it, but he didn't have it. He's, he's got it. Oh, yep. oh, Frogzilla! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Frogzilla is crazy. Frogzilla! <laughs> <laughs> He's honestly not as big as I thought he was going to be, but it's a really good one. He's about twice the size of the one that flung over the side of the boat a minute ago. <laughs> I can't believe he ate it. I threw it in front of him and he turned and ate it. I, didn't, I couldn't see if he had it, but then he jumped and got scared, but he still wanted it. Early season frogs are the best frogs because they're so dumb. <laughs> yeah. So unsuspecting. Like two weeks from now, these guys will be very, very finicky, very hard to catch. Gotta get them while we can. And the cooler. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you ready to catch some more frogs, Jay? Heck yeah. All right, I will trade you a jig rod for the camera. Ah. Guys, if y'all thought the last frog was Frogzilla, Holy imagine that frog times two and you have this guy right here. This dude is huge. Ooh. A huge male American bullfrog. Jay, drop that jig down. Oh, oh no, not too high though. Make him come down and eat it. He has to eat it off the ground. There you go. Oh my gosh, we are right up in this guy's grill. Oh. <laughs> That was an old smart one there. We were, Dang. he was sitting up a little high. You want to be a little lower. Old wise guy. Ugh. Well, let's come back and see if we can hit him again later. I mean, obviously, guys, we know if we were using like a gig or our hands or a net, we probably could have gotten him. Oh yeah. But we like to do it the sporty way with a crappie yeah. rod. It's fun. Right? <laughs> we'll come, we'll get it's him. more we'll, challenging. We'll get him one day, as long as somebody else doesn't get him first. Yeah. Okay, Jay, on to the next frog. <laughs>
All right, we're on another frog. Looks like a pretty decent one. Will he eat the chip? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's right there. Did he eat it? Did he get scared? He didn't get scared. Oh, oh. nope, he's scared. Smoke his cheese, Jay. Ooh, he's hungry. Oh, he's a hungry fella. He's going to eat it. Yeah. Ah. Oh no, no! Oh boy. Oh boy, is this the frog? We've had a little dry spell, Jay. You start off like three for four. Did you see that? I did see that. What was that? I don't know. These fish, these frogs, these fish, these frogs <laughs> are getting skittish over here. I was just raving about how these early season frogs are easy, but these guys are spooky. Someone must have been messing with these. Yeah, somebody must have. Because these guys are finicky. <laughs> he jumped straight up like a like he did like a ballerina move or something. <laughs> I know. <gasps> okay, we're gonna see if I can film and catch this one at the same time. Oh I did it! Oh I had that was so close. Oh, smoked him. Oh, oh he's God. in the boat. He's in the boat. Whoa. Jay, how many frogs did it take to catch that one? Oh, uh, I had to miss too many. I know, but maybe like 10. Hey, that's crazy. Well, we, think, we finally got another one. <laughs> yeah, we saw a couple of other boats. We think that maybe they went through the past that we went through before us and maybe spooked these frogs a little bit, but yeah. that, that happens. Yeah. And it could have been spooked by some other boats, you know, a couple days ago. The season's been in for about a week now, but that's a good one. Heck yeah. I'm not sure how many we got. We have like six or seven now. I was very nervous. I was like, man, I do not want to miss another fish or another frog. Yeah. Well, it's not really your fault for missing. They just, they're just skittish. They just don't yeah. bite it. Yeah. I guess we missed a couple though. Yeah. Oop. That's Frogzilla. okay. Frogzilla. <laughs> okay, let's get him in here. <gasps> oh, yes. He's bigger than I thought he was. Get he's get bigger in. than I thought he was. Yes. Oh, wow. You did it! I did it! <laughs> Heck yeah! Got our last frog of the night. Our headlights and our spotlights are starting to die. This guy just came out of nowhere. We ran through this spot a couple of times, didn't see any frogs, and he just popped up, and that's a nice one. Heck yeah! Wow! And he got off the hook, and luckily I was able to snag him before he got away. Hey, that's how you wrap up the first bullfrog mission of the year. I think we have about, we have seven or eight in there. We'll have to count when we get back. Um, but yeah, that is awesome. Got some tasty, frog legs that will be awesome to fry up tomorrow for lunch. So let's get this guy in the cooler and uh, let's pack it in and call it a night. Let's Job go. Well done. Big old bullfrog. Woohoo! Well last night we did pretty well chasing down frogs for our first time this season. We ended up catching seven nice sized American bullfrogs. We had an opportunity to catch probably 10 or 12 maybe, maybe even 15. Um, but they were just kind of skittish last night and we're kind of early in the frog in season I mean once we get to maybe about the beginning of May we get some warm nights Maybe get a warm rain. They will come out like out of everywhere There'll be frogs all over the place and there'll be a lot of fun to catch um, Another reason why I think we might have missed a few but we're talking about this jig we were using This is the jig we were using last night. This is the little shiny honey jig And we're talking about it has a light wire a little sickle hook on there and it was sticking them pretty well But what we noticed is when those fit was when those frogs were coming off in the boat that the hook was actually bending out so I think some of those frogs we lifted up out of the water and didn't get in the boat, they just fell because the hook straightened out. So we're going to have to use a heavier duty hook next time we go out jigging. But otherwise, it was a lot of fun. We spent about two hours out there and we got a nice mess of frogs. So what we're going to do now, if I don't knock my frog over, is we're going to show you guys how we skin and clean one of these frogs and then we're going to do the best part of all this, which is cook them up. So let's take this little guy here, we'll set these guys aside, got some really nice ones here. And this guy, while he is the smallest of one, that's a really, really decent sized bullfrog. So what you're gonna do, it's really easy to clean a bullfrog. You wanna have a sharp knife, a pair of skinners. These are just catfish skinners. And then you're gonna want something that you can cut through bone with. Um, normally I have some game shears, but I couldn't find them. So I have some garden snips. These will work just fine. So what you'll do is you can either make a cut right behind the head or make a cut down here by the legs. It really doesn't matter. You're not gonna get anything off the back. There's literally nothing right here. It's just bone. Hear that? That's just, there's nothing there. There's no meat there. There's like some skinny, little skin meat, but it's just really not worth getting. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just make a cut behind the head real quick. Okay, so we got our cut across the back and we'll just grab the skin, just like you would skin a catfish. And you're just gonna peel the skin right off the frog. Peel it off in one snip right there. So what you're left with is you have the legs. So right here, 
You want to cut this part right here. This is um, what connects everything to the di digestive tract. So you'll just cut that little part, just kind of nice and easy. And then you cut all the way down to that backbone. And what I like to do is just take my either game shears or snippers and I just cut it in half. Just take that off. And we have the rest of our frog. I'm gonna throw this in the bucket. We're either gonna put that rest of that frog in our garden or we're gonna use it for catfish bait. One of the two. So the rest of the frog is definitely not gonna go to waste. So then what you're left with is a pair of legs with the feet on. You can leave the feet on if you want to. Normally we just cut them off. So we'll just snip them off. The snippers are kind of dull, but they're getting the job done. There's the feet. I might feed these to my pet fish. Mr. Bass would probably like to eat these frog feet. And then we'll just separate these two legs. You can leave them together if you'd like to, like if you're gonna throw them on the grill. I like to leave them together, but we'll just cut them off. What we're left with, they're kind of dirty right now, but we'll rinse them off, is a pair of delicious, fresh frog legs. Yummy. Isn't that great? Yeah. Anytime we can get out on the lake and harvest our own food, it's just it's just really great. We prefer to catch our own food than buy it at the store. And especially frogs, I mean, frozen frog legs at the store are definitely not nearly as good as the ones you catch yourself. So we're gonna clean the rest of these frogs real quick and uh, we'll get to showing you how we cook them up in the deep fryer. We just wrapped up cleaning up the rest of those frogs. We've got some beautiful, delicious looking frog legs here in the bowl. I'll rinse it off in this water. We have 14 frog legs to eat today for lunch. And I'm gonna show you guys how we are going to get them ready to throw into the deep fryer, which is heating up over there. So it's very easy. Um, this is definitely a method that I would recommend doing if you want your frog legs to be extra crunchy. And we're gonna start off by throwing our frog legs in this bag of flour. So they're already kind of moist just from being in the bowl. So let's get these guys, we'll shake off the excess water. And we'll throw like four or five in here just to get this party started. There's two, look at that. It's like a little chicken leg. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a soggy chicken leg, but hey, it'll work. These guys are often referred to as uh, swamp chickens. As far as like, what they taste like, I mean, it literally tastes just like a, tastes like a chicken. A chicken and a fish had a baby. But better. But better, so good. Okay, so we got some in the bag and we're just gonna give them a little shake, 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 shake. I think we got a leak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's all right. It's all right. A little flour didn't hurt nobody, guys. Okay. So there is phase one. I go, I guess phase one is cleaning the frog and rinsing them off. So that's, I guess, step two. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take our guys out individually and we are going to dip them in some milk. You can use milk. You can use buttermilk. You can also use um, whisked eggs. We didn't have any eggs. Normally I would do eggs and milk together, but we're just going to do milk today and it all works out. So we're going to give them a little dunking in that. Okay. A little dunk. And I'm just going to do just this once just for demonstration purposes. And then once we have them dunked, we're going to move them over. Oops, I got to open this up. We're going to move them over into our seasoned batter. So this is um, Uncle Buck's beer batter. It's really, really tasty. It's kind of spicy. It's just, it's just really good, especially on frog legs. So we've got that guy. We're gonna throw him in here. Got him double dunked and we'll shake him up. Now, if you are somebody who also goes out and catches frog legs in the spring and you have a recipe that you would like to share, definitely do so in the comment section below. We're always wanting to dig up some good, juicy, delicious frog leg recipes. They're really hard to mess up, guys. They're so good. And then once we have that, this is our finished product. Let me pull them out so you can see what it looks like a heavily battered frog leg. It's kind of blowing in my eye. The leg's blowing, wind, wind's blowing <laughs> in my eyes. Can't looks talk. <laughs> that looks great. And so I think our, our deep fryer is heated up. So let's just run over there and throw them in the, throw them in the deep fryer so we can show you guys what this all looks like. Gentle. Ready, Jay? Ready. Here we go. And boom. Mm. There it is, guys. That's the process. That is how we deep fry our frog legs. So we gotta get back over to the table. We gotta whip those other ones up real quick so we can throw them in here so that we can get them all cooked up around the same time so we can enjoy them in just a few moments. Okay, here's our sampler. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Let's think about that, Jay. That looks delicious. Okay, let's set him 
on the plate. We'll let him start cooling off. It's starting to rain a little bit, so that'll cool him off. Let me grab the rest of these frogs real quick. Look at that. Don't move a second. Crispy golden cupifaction. Hey, you caught that one. Let's let's drop these bad boys in there. Let's get the rest of the squad going. This would be a whole lot more appealing to the eye right here. Oh, babe. You gotta be careful of those frog legs. And just because they're detached from the frog doesn't mean they won't start trying to kick around and kick out of here. They got some weird nerves. Especially pour some salt on them. They start jumping all over the place. This second batch is looking dang good. Oh man. You wow. can just feel the crisp on those. You really, I really like my frog legs to be crunchy, don't you, Jay? Yes. There's nothing worse than like a soggy frog leg. When you cook them this way, even when they kind of cool off, they still maintain their crunch. Mmm. It's just like with anything, like with chicken, with fish. Ooh. If you want it fried, you want it to be crispy. Heck yeah. And brown. Jay, you pumped? Yeah, look at this tray, guys. Like, this is so exciting. I cannot wait to dig in. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to do the taste test. Okay. Oh my goodness, these look delicious. <laughs> this is like the best okay. part of all these videos is the taste test. The taste Although test. Although I have a feeling where this is going. Okay, it's ready? Good. Yep. Oh yeah. Does it taste like you caught it last night? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Taste fresh. Tastes like a swamp chicken. Swamp mm. chicken? Man, that's so good. How's that breading? This batter, I, I, yeah, this breading is perfect. And I heard that crunch, so mm -hmm. that's good. It is literally perfect. Man, she's going for the she's going for the little part first. I always go for like the thigh. <laughs> mm. I can go for the thigh. <laughs> okay, she's going in. Oh wow, she's an animal. That's good. Wow. <laughs> yes. Uh, Jiggy J don't play around when it comes to these frogs. Mm -hmm. I already told you that last night. Mm -mm. Man. That's good eating. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one am I gonna get? Which one am I gonna get? I'm gonna go for the little guy. I'm gonna go for the little guy. A little tender, a little tender morsel. And this one, this one we just pulled out. He's gonna be kind of hot. But, man, this is just falling apart. Looking great. I'm gonna go for <laughs> this little spot right here. What? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's dang good, isn't mm. it? I love this time of year. I love the springtime. Fishing's good. Frogging's good. Eating's good. Everything's good in the hood. The weather's good. It's warm. It's green. Green. Our gardens are. We got some flowers. We got some flowers. Our gardens are, are thriving. Let me show you guys the gardens at some point. We'll do that in another video. But this video is all about the frog legs. And this is delicious. And I. Definitely recommend, now if you've got any spot where you think you got some frogs or you got a spot where you know there are some frogs, you should go out there. You should definitely go out there and take a jig rod, take a gig, take a net, take your bare hands, go wrangling up some frogs and cook them up the same way we did today. Because it is bomb. Well, this is where we are going to end today's video. We have a pile of frog legs in front of us that we are eager to dig into. We also got some french fries cooking in the deep fryer, which we're probably gonna add into this mix. But we hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us last night on the lake, catching these bullfrogs. Like we said a bunch of times, this is only the beginning of the frog season. We're anticipating it to get better. Mm -hmm. And we're planning on um, going after them some more, obviously, and maybe trying some alternative methods besides the ones we've mentioned already. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoy the frog catching videos, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, we're Colin Jay, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.